Hello everybody and welcome to episode 25 of Banished. It's quite a milestone, quarter of a hundred episodes in and we are on late summer 24th year so not quite not quite 25th year, that would have been quite a nice little coincidence could have been one episode per year but we are, we're basically that anyway but we're just about to witness the yield get to 100% of the new crop, the corn that we got in last season just want to focus on that, just to see the glory. Oh yes, look, look at them go, bring in all in, bring in the corn, bring in the corn home, whatever you want to say. Brilliant. It's almost as good as if England would win the World Cup. Difference is the corn's got more chance of being harvested. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with the rest of the village. Okay, so tools are getting low still. We've got our blacksmith trying to produce tools, but he can't because the forest is not being chopped down quickly enough. We've got five labourers now, though, so they should be able to actually... They should be able to get enough people to chop down the trees and things, so we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that for now, but it's not it's not a huge deal at the moment. Have I got any tools in here, actually? Ah, I see... I see where I've gone wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, this is this is where the problem has occurred. I didn't... Oh, if I put that back down to zero, that should give us 53 tools again. Blacksmith can turn off. I completely forgot that if you don't change these numbers, they'll keep taking the exact same amount into the trading post every time. I see. Um, it's not too bad. We got. Right. We don't need any berries. We don't need any beans. In fact, I might just zero all of this, just to see what happens. Because I think that I was possibly getting myself into a bit of a dangerous situation with that. That could have been a very bad error. Um, right, so the tools, they're back up to scratch now. They're not running out of tools. What is this going on here? Someone's not got a job? No, they don't. Um, just, yeah, carry on with doing what you're doing. Right, now that we've actually got some labourers and they're chopping and we don't need any more tools, this is good, right? They're producing this. There's a thing. Where is the other thing? Oh, it's that one there, isn't it? The woodcutter. I'm not going to use that at the moment. But they can... Right, they're focusing on the trees now. That's good. Bring in as much of that as you possibly can. Yeah, um... I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to see what happens with this. Uh, where are we? Is there anything around here? No, so this is what we've got at the moment in terms of food. Where did the corn go? Or have they already eaten the corn? They couldn't have already eaten the corn, surely. Oh, I see. Corn just looks like beans, in a sense. Um, yeah, so the corn went down there. Some of it must have gone in here, though, surely. No, that is that. Where did the, have they already eaten all the corn? They couldn't have eaten the corn, surely. I mean, they've got a very tasty inventory going on there, but no one's got any corn. What happened to that? Couldn't have brought too much in. Actually, it'll tell me how much we brought in, won't it? To us, only 280. I suppose it is such a small farm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to gonna get rid of that. I'm going to destroy that, because... Um, where's the destruction tool? There it is. If I get rid of all of that, then I can get in a slightly bigger farm with just corn maybe next year. So if I do that as an 8x15 and get another one that's 7x15. That might do better. Right, so stored food. That's still that's still looking quite good, but the people are going up, so I'm gonna have to try and get as much food going through as I can. Bear in mind that the hunting lodge hasn't been active for a couple for a few years, so when I get that activated, I should be okay. 
Hundred and two stored medicine, three and a half hearts. Okay, that's that's gone in the that's gone in the right direction. That's brilliant. Well done. Um Ah, I see the herbalist is at its limit. Interesting. Alright, let me take the herbalist off that. And the herbalist Everyone can just chop the wood down. Wood doesn't seem to be going anywhere though. They seem to get wood and then lose wood straight away. Is there a way to get more as quickly as I can? Um, this entire section could could go, to be quite honest. That's my, that's the decision made about whether that's going to be used as a hunting lodge area or not. I think I need to get a a, a planter person, a um, forester. Although, do I actually have one already? I've got a forester, but he only plants and stuff in this region. I don't actually have anyone in it at the moment. If I got another one over here, I could sort of re replant this area up. I know it takes quite a long time, but it could be worth it in the long run to have sort of a constant source of wood available on that side. Yeah, because these days, as soon as they bring wood in, it just gets taken out again because of the fire. See, he can't, he can't actually do anything, and people are starting to freeze. As a result, especially probably these guys. No, they're doing okay actually. Normally, it's these ones start freezing first because they can't get to the the storage barn quickly enough. What's she doing? Oh, she's she must be moving all the food back out of here into the other the other place. I tell you what. Yeah, I tell you what would be very good actually. If I can get myself 800 to get in like, or maybe 1600 so I can afford a, like a, an animal when he brings it along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I know you've just, <laughs> she's just taken the onions out, but you can put another 500 onions I think. Because onions are all quite a reliable source of food these days. Um, berries as well, berries are doing very well, so let's put another 400 in there. So that's already 900, we just need another 700 food. Well, 700 of anything to be quite honest. What do I have available? 27 leather? That'll do. 27 leather. Right, I can always add more in as and when it's required. How are you doing? Right, come on. Come on, guys. Let's let's start chopping some stuff down properly now. Let's stop messing around, eh? In fact, for the sake of not messing around, let's just get rid of all of this section here. We can always replant this, can't we? So we'll. Or is that a bit too drastic? They are getting rid of this region around here. Although I have have I highlighted all the stone with that? I'm sure I only did the tree selection. Yeah, I must have just done tree selection. Otherwise it would have been the iron as well. Iron is looking pretty good again. We've got all this iron here and a little bit here that they can collect as well. Yeah, it's strange actually. Wood, the one that's got the most resource around, seems to be the one that's sort of, I'm struggling with at the moment. More labourers. I think that because the food is going really well for the gatherer hut, I sort of feel like it's not going to last for long, so if I put four people in the hunting cabin, turn that on, and I'm going to keep them in there for a few seasons, four people in the hunters, four people in the gatherers, I might, actually can I fish here? I can as well. Yeah, if I could get some fishermen down in that location there, that'd be brilliant. Could have a little little fishing dock coming up, coming out here. In fact, I might get. I'm not sure how effective fishing is. I've I've never been a fan of it, but at the same time, if it gets me a bit more food in. Let's get two of them there. Right, you don't. Don't do any of that yet. Ah, this was... Oh, God. This was the issue. Okay. Um, two builders. 
you can go on there. I didn't realise that they were putting. They must have put all the wood in that. That's what. That's what's been happening. I think the storage barn could fill up quite quickly now that we've got the venison on, as well. Is it? Oh, it's early summer. Did I miss the spring, or have they already harvested? Don't know. It doesn't matter anyway. They're they're doing they're doing fine for food. Could do with another house, perhaps. Maybe not take it so so quickly this time. Slow down a little bit. Make sure I'm not relying too heavily on one individual food source. That's what I did last time. I had too many farms going, and then then I didn't have enough farms, and it all just went chaos. The farms weren't bringing in enough food. It was it wasn't a good time for the village. I'd say, I mean, in this cemetery there's 60 graves. This is kind of the old, the entire population of the old village basically. I don't think there's anyone really alive now who was from that period of time, so it's kind of a it's distant memory now, but it should we should always teach it in our, our school that isn't ever being used these days. Actually that would be, that would be quite a good use of resources actually. The person who is in here could work as the teacher. Yeah, brilliant. Right, you can work as the teacher. Might be able to get some students. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Right. Let's... How's the herbalist? We've still got 102 stored medicines, so that's, that's good. That is being built, the blacksmith. That's, that's good. Could get rid of the one that's over here. Not sure there's necessarily an advantage of getting rid of it because we built it, so we might as well keep it in case in the future we need another blacksmith over there. Let's get ready for, with another couple of houses. Let's, um. I think I might put them here like this. This can be the kind of housing estate that they, they live in these days. This is becoming a bit of a messy road layout, but I'm going to get rid of this little bit around here. In fact, I might get rid of that now. Builder can get rid of that. Oh, I was meant to pause these. Yeah, I think it would be good. I think as soon as I've got the two fishermen up and running, maybe, well, one first of all, then... That would be an extra source of food coming in. I don't think they get too much, but it's another source of food, and it should hopefully help to put the health up because they're eating a variety of of nutrients and meat and all that kind of stuff. So, what are these deer doing? Just walking through the lake. <laughs> Always nice to see that auto save. Firewood is low. We're in late summer. Have they finished chopping down trees? No, there's still trees and stuff to chop. This entire region here as well could... Could get all of this. I think if I just keep these guys just all working on this stuff here, it will be... It'll be good for the village to just get all of this resource over a period of time. They can then make use of this space over here. Maybe they, maybe they will get a um, farm over here. Perhaps a little little ranch thing. Not too sure. If I can remember the blacksmith is there, that's good as well. Because all the iron turns up here these days. A bit, little bit counterintuitive. Because when the mine's up and running, the iron's probably going to go to one of these. But when that happens, I can probably get a blacksmith opposite here, and he can he can do the main work. How's the storage barn looking? 53% full? Are they sending it anywhere else? No, so we seem to be seem to be able to keep it at a fairly steady level these days. Um, I think because I missed out on the summer, well the the spring crop last year, or this this or early this year. 
child named Uri was born. There's no point getting another woodcutter just yet because we haven't got any wood. Although if I keep building things then I'm never going to have any wood am I so... That's a bit silly as well. I wonder how the deer feel with their forest just having a huge cut down the middle of just... Wood and... Is that thatch or is it... No, oh no it's all wood isn't it? Like wooden planks. Yeah, I could start upgrading these houses to stone, actually. What does a stone house give me that's different? Provides a place for citizens to live, eat, store food and stay warm. Provides more warmth than wooden homes. See, that sounds quite useful, and I can just upgrade these to stone homes, can't I? And it'll take 24 wood, 10 iron and 40 stone. I mean, I've got plenty of stone. I could get three of them done. It might be safer, it might be better in terms of the firewood actually. Let me pause that and prioritise the... Well, I won't prioritise anything actually. Are, the, are the people not allowed to live inside it when it's been upgraded? I see people get moved along. I wasn't banking on that actually, but I don't know what I was expecting really. Do they just they stay in the house or the whole house is being practically being smashed down? Right, we'll prioritise that. They'll they'll get wood as and when they need it. People are still cold. Teacher isn't doing a very good job, is she? Only one student so far. I'm wondering if I told them to collect a bit too much of a large area, to be honest. Not too sure if that was a wise move or not, really. But yeah, we've got the houses ready. I'm gonna, before I put anything else down, I will get these houses built. And I'll probably get a market someplace around here as well. Probably just put a market here. They're not too far away from the storage barn, as a rule, but yeah, if I can get a market here, it would be quite useful. Also, I think this, if I can get this storage barn done, this will be very, very helpful because the farmer people can then put it in there. But I don't know how long this is going to stay as a farm, that's the thing. It may, I may get rid of all, I'm probably going to get rid of all of this road layout eventually in probably this down here as well. I've got to really replan and think about how I'm going to do it. If this is going to be the housing area, I could have a marketplace in this section here and then have... What's this over here mean? Oh, of course we're building it, aren't we? Yeah, get a marketplace in this space and then maybe these could be farms. Don't know, I need to get a pasture down here as well actually because I wonder if, that, if the merchant guy is going to be arriving soon. Ah, oh, he is as well. Brilliant, the merchant's coming. Okay, well I think I'm going to call that the end of episode 25. So you'll have to stick around till 26, wait for 26 to see if the merchant brings us anything good. Hopefully he brings us some cattle for the, for the pasture. Chickens, cattle, sheep, whatever there is, I, I'm not going to be fussy about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.